So I recently did a splatter nail collaboration and I couldn't find a straw to be able to do the splatter technique. And while I was trying to look around and see if I could find anything that I thought I might be able to use for the splatter technique, I found an old syringe that we had from a just a little bottle of baby medicine so I figured I would try it out and surprisingly it really worked quite well. It does take a little bit of getting used to, it is a little difficult, um, but really you can make it work and I think I actually like it a lot better than the straw technique. So what I'm going to show you today is how to do these nails. I've used a base color of Zoya Avery and then the first color that I splattered with is a sort of blue color and this is China Glaze Electric Beat and the yellow on top is NYC Midtown Mimosa I topped everything off with a coat of Sesh Vite and to do these nails you'll also need some sort of a syringe this is the one that I used it is still a little messy and I can't quite get the extra polish out of this part but so far it hasn't seemed to matter I can still use it even with all the stuff gunked up here in the end you'll also need some sort of tape so that you can put it over the skin around your nails and that way it won't create quite as much of a mess you won't have quite as much to clean up and then of course you'll also need some q-tips cotton balls a cleanup brush and nail polish remover and if you would like to see how I did these nails keep watching so once you have your base color down you want to begin by putting tape around the edges of your nail and that way you'll just have a little bit less of a mess to clean up when you're all done. To begin doing your first splatter color, you'll want to put one or two drops of your polish onto your paper or your tray or whatever you're using and then put the syringe into the polish and suck that up you don't have to get all of it and when you do the splatter you want to push down on the other end of the syringe quickly with quite a bit of force rather than doing it slowly otherwise you won't get the splatter effect and then just continue that process however many times you want per nail It is pretty finicky. I mean, sometimes it works perfectly. Other times you can do the same thing and it's a little more difficult. It doesn't necessarily, may not necessarily put out as much polish. But it's just something really you have to play with to kind of get used to, to get something that you like and to be able to get it to work for you. Now, I don't know, I mean, I assume pretty much any syringe would work. This is just one that I happen to have laying around. And now moving on to my second color. A lot of times, rather than bothering to clean out the syringe, I like to just suck up a little bit of that second color a few times and splatter it out to sort of kind of clean out the first color from the syringe. I'm crazy about her, but I could never get it out because I was so afraid. And there's something burning 
trying to find its own way out of me. And there's something trying, fighting to find its own way out of me. Well, I guess that I got lucky, cause I had a little help. She pried it out, like a nail stuck to a board, like a foot stuck in the mud, like a secret that I hold. But there were things that I needed to say, and so I said them all out loud. Help me pry it out We were swimming In a creek up to our necks And there was something she wanted to say She's crazy about me I can feel it when her head lays on my chest she won't get out cause she's too afraid And there's something burning Trying to find it so So once you're done making a mess Just remove the tape from around your fingers And then you can use a Q-tip or a brush Or whatever you prefer Dipped in acetone or a polish remover And just clean up the rest of the mess that is around your nail. So once you've got your nails all cleaned up, you can either leave them the way they are and have a little bit of a splatter texture, or you can top them off with a top coat for a nice, shiny, and smooth finish. So once you're all done, you can just pull your syringe apart and use a cotton ball and polish remover or acetone to clean that up and you can rinse out the inside of the tube. I just put a little bit of polish remover in mine and make sure I've got the end held so that it won't come out until I'm ready and shake it up a little bit and let it sit there and that will do a pretty good job of rinsing that polish out of the syringe. There's something fighting Trying to find its own way out of Well, I guess that she got lucky Cause she had a little help Cause I pried it out Like a nail stuck to a board Like a foot stuck in the mud Like a secret that she holds themselves way too much but some people let it out with a good stiff drink or just a touch of love she pried it out like a nail stuck to a board like a foot stuck in the mud like a secret that I Right.